I remember when they came in, and I, I remember, uh, you know, those days, uh, and uh, we had uh, two brilliant black and white men. And I, I'd like to get recall on a man uh, that uh, that had a favorite black and white. I thought he did the best black and white. Uh, 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 I, I've forgotten his name at the moment, but uh, they had a great respect for each other. But actually, uh, you know, there, there were, there were uh, oh, his name was McCord. His name was McCord, and uh, he, uh, he, he was a brilliant black, uh, black and white director, uh, Ted McCord at, at Warner Brothers, just brilliant. But he adapted to, uh, you know, they all did. They all adapted, he, even, uh, you, you know, the uh, Joe Ruttenberg at MGM and and, uh, and e ever so many they they all just uh, adapted to uh, it was a slow process uh, and uh, they learn color uh, just like uh, you know you learn a you learn a new trick uh, and some of them uh, were there any adjustments you had to make no they did well. Oh, oh, it was, it was, it was a terrible. It, it was such an annoyance. A man had to walk in with what you call a lily, and they took that test, and then it went to the lab, and they experimented in the lab. The lab had big problems with it. Yeah, it was a problem, but they, they you know, all eventually working on it. And sometimes they, they had went through two or three processes of, uh, of, uh, in the lab of getting, you know, actually what they wanted. It was a growth process like anything else. But in the early beginning, it was such a nuisance. You, you know, man had to run in with a slate. They took all different things, and it slowed the process down. But there were some men who were who were great, who were uh, j just uh, adapted very quickly and got reputations as being, you know, magnificent uh, color cinema photographers.